now if you are watching for the first time and you have not subscribed kindly do so and uh, also i run a youtube uh, a facebook page apart from youtube channel I, I run a facebook page which is js learning academy so if uh, if you want to be watching most of the live videos kindly follow me and uh, like my videos on my uh, facebook page as well uh, i'm going to put the link in the description so that you also follow me on facebook all right so uh, this is a cubic function exam question hopefully you're able to see it has already been graphed for you you can see there's uh, a cubic uh, function this one which has been graphed over here it moves like this don't mind this ink uh this this line don't mind it the one which is like this i think somebody was trying to solve using this uh, same question paper and there is also another equation which moves like this so uh the question reads the diagram below shows part of uh, the graph um of y is equal to x uh cubed plus 2x minus 1 and y is equal to 10x so the first uh, function here or the first equation is uh, this one and uh, the second one is see, this one it's a straight line all right so now the first question here they ask us to use the graph to solve the equation so for a and b we're supposed to use these uh, these uh, two graphs to answer or to be able to answer uh, the questions all right, so let me start with uh, question A. So for question A, let me just copy it, and then I'll show you. So question A is uh, x cubed plus 2x is equal to 6. So this is how it looks. So now how do you work out this one? So what you need to do, the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that uh, this equation or this function looks similar as uh, what we've been given over here here so if you're able to see the way this looks this is how this also must look so how do we make this look like the given function so we just say y okay is equal to x cubed plus 2x minus 1. I'm just copying what we've been given in the question so that you guys see what is going on or what is happening. So in order for me to make uh, this look like this, I'm going to include this one, negative 1 or minus 1. So it will be like this, x cubed plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 6 minus 1. So whatever I do this side to the left side, I should also do it to the uh, right side. So this is how it looks like. So the next move here will be now to clean up. So it will be x cubed plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 5. So this is what we have. So now, if uh, you are following nicely the way this looks, this one here, what we've been given, the graph that we've been given, it looks like this. You can see like this. It is uh, y is equal to x cubed plus 2x minus 1. It's the same. So this entails that we can replace what is here with y. So we say y is equal to 5. So this is what we're supposed to do. Okay? The reason why we've replaced is because this function or this equation has got y at the beginning. Okay, there is y is equal to this. So that's why I've put the y here. Okay, is equal to 5. So now we're done there. Our next move will be to graph this y is equal to 5. So how do we graph y is equal to 5? We go to our our graph paper and the graph and check here there is 0 1 2 3 4 5 is here 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 5 is over here so we're going to get our pencil okay 
and do this and try to do a line like this and check where is it cutting the graph it's cutting the graph here because this graph okay this graph x cubed plus 2x minus 1 is this one which moves like this okay so now y is equal to 5 it's passing here and then it's touching the graph somewhere here so now when it touches the graph where it touches the graph start now dropping down to the x-axis and then get the value of x-axis here what is the value of x-axis here down here so the value of x-axis is 1.5 so we are going to say x is equal to 1.5 and uh, this is the solution x is equal to 1.5 this for this equation we only have uh, one solution which is uh, 1.5 x is equal to 1.5 reason being it has only touched the graph at one point here and the value of x where it is touching uh, the graph is 1.5 this is how we solve we go to the next question the next question here we don't need to even graph the way it looks they have said x okay cubed plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 10 x so how do we work out this one so if you can see nicely this is y okay can you see this is y it's the same as y because it looks similar to this y is equal to this so this and this are the same so this is equal to what to y so what you normally do this has already been graphed for you it's over here so you say y y is equal to 10x y is equal to 10x so y is equal to 10x is this 10x and luckily it has already been graphed as well y is equal to 10x is it this line over here so what we what we do here okay since it has already been graphed for us so what we do we just get the intersection here where it is meeting and here so what is the value of x here where these two graphs are meeting so if you can see this is one of course this must be 0 0.1 negative 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 negative 1 so this is x for number 2 now x is equal to negative 0 0.1 another one x is equal to you go to where it's meeting again this is 2 this is point uh, here it's point 0.8 so 2.8 so there are two solutions where these graphs are meeting so in other ways when they have said use the graph to solve they just want you to focus on their intersections and on the intersection where they are meeting where those two graphs or where if it's a line and a graph where they are meeting you get the x value so in this case here this is where they are meeting and the x value here because this is negative 1 this must be 0 uh, negative 0 0.1 and over here this must be 2.8 so that's how you answer this let's try to go to the next question the next question here the next question uh reads calculate an estimate of the gradient of um the curve at the point uh, 2 comma 1 uh, sorry 2 comma 11 so 2 comma 11 so what we do when, once we just hear them saying estimate the gradient so for you to find the gradient you need a ruler okay and find this point 2, 11. So 2, 11, 2 is over here. If you see on the Cartesian plane, xy plane, 2 is here. And then 11, if this is 10, 11 must be here. So where they are meeting is somewhere here. Okay. So where they are meeting here, you do this. You make a line. Okay. You draw a line just touching that point, that point only. So make a line, draw a line like that. Okay. So maybe you can see my line is quite it's a little bit faint. So once you draw that line, 
find the point. If you want, you can get this point or here the point. You can get the coordinates here along any coordinates along this line, the line, the gradient that you've, I mean, the, the tangent line that you've made. This is a tangent line, okay? It's touching this curve at one point. So this is a tangent line. So find the coordinates. So if you want, you can get this. So I'll get what is here, which is, let me write here, which is, uh, uh, that's uh, one point, one, two, one point two, X is equal to one point two comma, Y is zero here at this point. So I've gotten this point, I'll call it point A. And then my point B, I'll just get what I've been given here, which is two comma, 11 that's my point b so we can use now the formula for finding gradient in case you don't know the formula for finding gradient it looks like this m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 or x subscript 2 minus x subscript 1 okay so here i can say this is my x1 and my y1 x2 my y2 so just plug them in it will look like this what is my y2 is 11 minus y1 is 0 over x2 is 2 minus x1 is 1.2 okay so i have 1.2 there so my next move here will be now to just work out things here so if i say 2 minus 1.2 so what I'm getting here is 0 0.8. So now I can divide. I can say 11 divided by 0 0.8. My gradient will be 13.75. So this is the solution. That's my, it's my gradient, 13.75. Uh, we go to the next question. Okay, so the next question here reads, uh, calculate an estimate of the area bounded by the cave. Okay, y is equal to 10x and y is equal to uh, y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2. So what you normally do here when finding the area, you find what is the y is equal to, uh, to 10x. So y is equal to 10x is this one. Okay, keep it. And then uh, y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0 must be this line. This is y is equal to 0 in case you don't know. Okay. And then this other one, x is equal to uh, 2. So x is equal to 2 is th this one. So the area that we need is like this. This is the area we need up to here. And then it goes like that up to here. So... This is the area we need. Let me try to shade it a little bit. This is the area. According to the equations that you've been given, this is the area we need to find. So how do we find this area? So in order for us to find this area, there is nothing much that you need to do. If you want, you can use the shapes. If you don't want to use the shapes, just follow how many uh, boxes are you able to see, even if it has been chopped. So there is this box which has been chopped. It was a full box, but it has been chopped. There is this other one, and there is this. There are three of them. So you just saw oh, there are three full boxes. So what do you do? Since they have been cut here, they are not full boxes. What do you do? You divide by two. So it will be 1.5. So keep this one. And then you get now a full box. Try to find area of a full box. So this, this box, this side is one, and then here it's 10. So we know that a box is like this. It has got here. This side is 1 and the height here is a 10. So we know that this is a, a rectangle. How do you find the area of the rectangle? It's L times B, of which it's 1 times 10 in this case. Okay? 1 times 10. So 1 times 10, it will give us 10 centimeter. Uh, sorry, don't put the centimeters. Put a square units so this is the area of one box so now for us to find the area of the shaded region here the region that we've been asked according to the equations that we have given us 
we need now to get this. So we say 1.5 times 10. This 1.5 is representing this region, the region which we are trying to find, times the area of one box. It will give us 15 square units. This is the solution. Okay, it's a solution for B. So now we go to the last question here. The last question they are saying uh, evaluate. So evaluate there are limits there. There is upper limit which is three and lower limit which is uh, which is one. So what you normally do here, this is calculus. You just do this. This will be three. This power add a one. So it's one plus two plus one is three. So the new power divide it. Okay. Here plus 4, here there is power 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2, divide it, okay, so you see the new power I'm dividing, okay, so now here you can even clean up, we know that this and this can cancel, so we remain with the, uh, x power 3 plus 2, because 2 can go into 4, x squared, so even put the brackets here put a 3 and a 1 on top put a 3 and then down here a 1 so the next thing will be to now plug these values where x is so it will be 3 cubed okay plus 2 3 power 2 i'm putting a 3 here where x is close minus now start put putting the lower limit so this is 1 cubed plus 2 open one squared close like that so you can now work out things here so what is uh, what is 3 power 3 so 3 power 3 is 27 plus here this is 9 times 2 it's 18 so it will be 9 uh, 3 power 2 which is 9 times uh, 2 which is equal to 18 so from here you can work out what is here also. This will just be 1 here plus 2. So next move here will be now to add these two. So 18 plus 27. It's giving us 45. Minus 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay. So this will be 42. The solution is 42. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, we are doing online tuitions. So if you'd like to join our online tuitions, you can uh, uh, get in touch with us on 0969 So if you're outside Zambia, it's plus 26, okay? 0969 So it's just the same. This is our country, um, our our code for, for, for the for the for the course okay so this is how it looks thank you very much this has been Jacob Sichamba if um, you've enjoyed the video kindly like comment and advise we don't mind we appreciate we'll get your advice thank you so much